Then we have review comparative P&L. Um, so we have talked about this in um, previous webinars as well, but that should be pretty straightforward. We go in, we run our profit and loss statement, and we look for trends, right? So if I run it for through 731, what I'm doing is I'm looking for outlier trends, right? So I'm saying, okay, you know, we have $131 in, well, here we go, $391 in revenue, 365, 1,000, 1,500, 6,500. That's quite a big jump. Why, right? Why did that happen? That's quite a big jump. Um, and so maybe I want to dive in and look at, make sure that every all the revenue is posting correctly, that I didn't post some revenue for August in here or from June into July. So we want to look at why. Um, same with having uh, cost of goods sold, we have none, and then they start in July, maybe why. Um, if we have a uh, depreciation expense, right, and it's $500, $500, $500, and then it shows $2,000, why? I mean, miscellaneous should never be on a P&L, so I would be diving into that, why? Right, and making sure that we put it to something that's not miscellaneous. 